this grill is so what i'm going to be doing is changing this up let's get it YouTube, what is going on? It is your boy Chris Rod here, and today we're going to be working on the exterior of my 2004 F-150, otherwise known as Lila. We're going to be working on the grill, and this grill, I'm going to be really honest with you, is not the best thing on planet Earth. It's very bulky, has no sleek design or look to it, and it just, it deserves a little better. I've had this truck for about maybe a couple of years, and I beat her up a bit. Change the oil plenty of times. You guys seen the oil stabilizer like oil stabilizer video. If you haven't, it'll be a card maybe right around here if you want to go take a look at that. But this car or truck needs some love, and I'm gonna give it to her. Hey yo, what the fuck? What I grab is the uh grill, the mesh grill from American Trucks. I'll be sure to put a picture and the link in the description below of what I got. And here it is. So here we have in front of me is the packaging of the glorious grill that I got for the F-150. And come to the big box. Um, unfortunately, it's a product made in China, which is a little disappointing, but whatever. But we have just a nice grill here. And it's a very, I guess, simple installation. This doesn't really take too much to do, but I want to showcase it because it's a nice, simple exterior model that you can do for your truck. We're going to take this right out. Uh, I, I didn't think this quite through. Hold on one sec. So, this is uh, gonna be a pretty big piece. Well, we're gonna, there's not much to unbox really here. Foam, and then wrapped up two times to protect yourself. But you know, too much to it. Take that out, take a lot of this stuff out. And this is pretty much it. Randy, I, I don't, don't do it! So here we really have it. This is our grill, our mesh grill. I think the pricing on this is like maybe, I don't know, $100. It's kind of stupid to spend so much on a grill, but I think at the end of it, this is gonna look really well. This is a nice gloss black finish. My truck is a gloss black, so it just makes sense. And with that being said, we're gonna go to the truck and install it and have a good time. First thing, come in here, pull. If you don't know how to open the latch on your hood, get that out. Ford, built up. All right, lift, get a little doohickey, grab, and then. So, what we're gonna be doing is grabbing some of the bolts that's here on the grill, and it looks like we got maybe some 10 mils. Uh, by judging it, 10 mils, and then we got some nuts, or maybe other 10 or eight. So this looks like a pretty simple installation slash removal slash putting back together. So with that being said, uh, we're gonna kind of just get right over to it. Note to self though, um, we're definitely getting some PP blaster because these uh, nuts are pretty shot in here. But it looks a bit, they're shot. Uh, let me just show you actually real quickly, so, so that way you know you don't think I'm lying. But then again, Ford Rust, <laughs> you no, know, found on road dead. So whatever. So we got my good old friend PB Blaster, and I'm gonna be just tackling on some of these rusted out bolts because I own a Ford, and if you guys see right in there, I'm kind of really hoping you do. I can't see. I can't see. They're they're pretty shot. Like they're rusted. They're definitely rusted. That's no doubting that. And I think we got some that's already loose. So, I mean, I'm just going to shoot some of this stuff in there and yank these out. Be sure that when you use this, you get the uh, liquid to go right in your face. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. You let it go on your radiator hose and everything. So, when it's a 1,000 degrees hot, you can, <laughs> you can freaking just set your engine on fire. Sure. He's working on this freaking shit, dude. All right, so I'm terribly sorry about the background noise, but today we're gonna be using some power tools because I'm not in the mood to use a ratchet. Um, Should I get the nuts out first? I don't know. Let's actually go to the nuts. I don't know how it's gonna work. Nope, nope, nope. I need a universal joint, but I don't have one. Universal joint, 
Where are you? We got some work to do now. Universal joint. Where are you? I don't want you to fail me now. When in doubt, ratchet out. Cause I don't have a universal joint. So yay me. Okay. Oh yeah, this is gonna work perfect guys. Oh yeah, this is gonna suck. Stress. One eternity later. Guys, so here's what we got going on. I am a firm believer of getting things out one way or another. So it turned out that all of my clips in here that were actually a part of the grill and it's clearly broken now. And it's broken even more than what it was. So I ripped everything out because it turns out every single clip in here was completely cracked and broken. So I was never going to actually get these bolts out no matter how much torque that I use. Now since I got these out, I can take this vice grip, grab onto the little stud, and loosen up all my nuts that are here. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So let's, let me get my brain all situated and get this grill out. Oops. And now it's just coming out. We're gonna over exaggerate this procedure and use a nice cobalt because I think that's gonna work a lot better than my hands right now and I'm not really in the mood. Oh, hit it again. Guys, as I struggle with this, I'm gonna just take all this out and we'll get this new grill on. So after the unnecessary use of my uh, cobalt impact, right? I was luckily enough to able to get these out with ease. <laughs> so I had to use the, I think I said it before, if I script, hold on to those little uh, studs and then take all these nuts out. And they're all literally just 10 millimeter. So I think from here, I'm ready to just slide this out and it should be an even, As, no, I, I promise, like, and it should be even easier because it's broken already. So we're going to pull and there it is. Oh, broken. So yeah. we don't need that. And the next thing we're going to be doing is installing the new grill directly onto my F-150. What I'm going to actually do as well is grease up all the studs that are already on that new grill. Uh, just so that in the future, this is going to have a nice easy removal. And these are rusted, so why put rust onto new stuff? Just grease it up, make things a little easier, make your life simple. And this is going to be pretty much it. Let me install the grill and then we're going to see the final product. We're gonna just dab of grease all over. Grease on that. And we're gonna grease these bolts as well. Cause these are definitely not, you're gonna not see that many good days, so. You guys can do this if you want to. You don't really have to. I'm doing it because it just makes sense. I mean, it's a Ford. It's, you know, gonna rust. It's unfortunate, but it's just gonna rust. You know, I am really hoping that this is very simple. I really am hoping this. Should be as easy as just sliding this back on. So let's just get to it. Eh. We're gonna get this slid in. We're gonna... Oh, all right, That's, that didn't work. Both brackets down, all right? And then slide her in like this. By the way, this is really hurting my fingers. Oh my God. Take three, I don't know. Well, oh, nope, that's not gonna do it. Take four. How about we use my arm? We're close. Okay, yeah. Oh yeah, add these in. We'll start knotting some of these up. Bolting these up, knotting them up. What? Let's just start threading some of these in. Please work. Yes. Now, 
with a little bit of persuasion, oh God, we can just, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Winner. I'm not gonna use the impact. <laughs> clear on that. Now we gotta line up the four bolts that are here. Um, they're not lined up at all. So, I think we're a little more persuasive we can get this in. Should be good. Oh yeah. Papaya. I don't think you guys are ready to witness this. We're gonna do another quick look in here. I think we're safe. Close. Oh, I guess I'll leave that in. Well, damn. Damn. Has a little bit of a behind the scenes. This is what I gotta do. I need to, I want you guys to understand something. Like I might put a picture of it too. This is what I use in order to record sometimes. Look, platform thing. Uh, record but this right here just looks phenomenal wow man i really like how this looks no more ugly forward badge no more bulkiness a nice sleek and mean looking design and i get i'm just happy happy with it i think the next thing that i should do and i possibly do a video on that soon to come when i get a little bit of dinero huh, not robert but I think we might change up these headlights as well. The, ta the tails, the headlights and fog lights, do a smoke look, and then this front end will just be 100% complete. And soon I might change the bumper anyway, because there's, you know, right there, damage. But here we go. This is how it looks. I love it, man. I love it. Check it out. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video and you think that the truck looks better now without this ugly sack of turd that's here, I need you to please leave a like and don't forget to be sure to smash that subscribe button in as well as ring that notification bell till the next video it's been your boy chris rod and i see all you lovely people in the next one peace